Yes, nothing like stoking that political fire right now. <laughs> that you're totally impossible and out of control with some sort of drug problem and a fixation on what you consider Rick Von Sloniker's wickedness. You're a snob, a sexist, totally obnoxious and tiresome, and lately you've gotten just weird. Why should we believe anything you say? Uh, hi, this is Christopher Walken, and you're watching Jason King on Kung Fu Hot Dog. Wow! Can I punch him in the face, please? Well, hello there, and welcome to another video of mine. And yes, you know that trailer reaction I did maybe a couple of weeks ago now for Everything's Gonna Be All White. You know, that really bad use of the word white as if to say, it's all gonna be all right, mate. <laughs> Wonder why you haven't heard anything, why people aren't singing its praises, even though it's been out on Showtime now for that length of time, three episodes, including one bonus episode. It's because if you go to Rotten Tomatoes right now, it has got the amazing score of 2%. I kid you not. There you go. Have a look at that. And if we just go back one page forward, the audience has something to say, and they're pretty disgusted by it, actually. Brianna S. I can't believe we are in 2022. This was nothing but adults coming off as bratty, angry children. This actually has potential to be dangerous. Very well said. Top critics. Now, you think the media, the main line, the mainstream media would be rushing to the defense of this show. Not one person has breathed anything. All critics? We might get better luck here. Oh dear, nothing at all. Wow. Now I did a little bit of scouting around online and I came across RT Russia Today. Yes, nothing like stoking that political fire right now. <laughs> so Michael McCaffrey, everything's gonna be all white. Fight racism with yet more racism. I'm not surprised actually. And look, this is a really good article. Um, it might not sit well with everybody. And of course, um, I'm just kind of curious to see what he had to say. Um, and what I know, like a couple of the paragraphs I'm going to pick out here. Um, I wasn't angered by the aggressive anti white racism in this series. Instead, I found it and its animating principle of fighting racism with more racism to be disheartening, dispiriting, and depressing. Ouch. Uh, Everything's Gonna Be All White is one of those documentaries that isn't interested in revealing a hidden truth or, God forbid, persuading people with its arguments. For example, the notion of uh, repatriations for slavery is brought up multiple times throughout this series, but the only actual argument made for them is literally, it's not a debate, it just needs to happen. How convincing. Now that reminds me of that image that we all saw in the Rings of Power trailer, remember that? Where you had the uh, new version of Legolas being chained by the ankle and he's trying to break free. Again, they're bringing ideology into a fantasy novel that's, you know, more than 70 years old. Just just thought I'd point that out to you. Oh, God. To further give an indication of how delusional Sasha Jenkins is, the director behind the series, in the Extra Discussion episode, he has seven or so guests all minorities gathered together and he proudly boasts this is what America really looks like. The only problem is, is that none of the guests were white. And I hate to break it to Jenkins, but roughly 60% of Americans are non-Hispanic whites. So this sewing circle is not what America looks like. Not even close. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Uh, people who are not their race, ethnicity, or their religion, uh, everyone is an individual with inherent value and worth and the potential for redemption who should be judged solely by the content of their character. Yeah, Michael McCaffrey does list a few good points on there. I mean, they even talk about the obsession with blackface as well. Why are white folk obsessed with blackface? 
I don't know why that would come into a documentary series about that, but of course, the series and the tone that it tried to set was being really self-mocking about the whole divide with white and black folks, um, even to the point where somebody in the trailer says it's all white lies, paraphrasing Grandmaster and the Furious Flash's song, White Lines from 1982, which of course is about Amy Pascal's favorite subject, <laughs> say no more on that one so we've got one review here where it's completely against the grain about this series and we've got the hollywood reporter surprise surprise who thought their first three episodes were solid to quote their phrase but the bonus episode is better so much so that this critic actually says the bonus episode should launch a 13-part series I don't think that's going to happen somehow because, put it this way, if nobody stepped out of their way to maybe watch a review copy or, you know, do however, whatever you wanted to, from what I understand as well, Showtime actually aired the first episode for free on YouTube, but then you had to go and subscribe to Showtime to watch the rest of the series, or you could just sell the high seas. That's the easier way to do it. And, well... The reason why I say this shouldn't be a 13 part series because you're gonna just fuel the fire even more on IMDB, are you ready for this? Even I cannot believe this is actually scored lower than um, Santa Rink, you remember that? 1% out of 10, ouch, ouch. Holy crap, that is bad. Showtime, you know, it's a pretty rich network. The network that gave us Ray Donovan and Dexter, two of my favorite shows. Oh boy, this is not a good look for them. I'll be curious to see if they lose uh, many subscribers because again, why would you greenlight something like this? If it's meant to be a satirically funny show, nobody found it funny. I think the joke is on Showtime and Sasha Jenkins. <laughs> Wow, I, I just, I am so speechless. And watch my reaction to the trailer before. Again, people with common sense, you can sit down, you can acknowledge that some things are certainly wrong in America and in the world in general. Uh, but honestly, my God, it's, you know, if you don't kind of sit up and speak about that, and you know, this is not the sort of topic I normally address, but because it's in the eye of entertainment and by the way i just remember there was a quote here from somebody who wrote in and i thought this is summed up pretty well actually so this is the top review at the moment probably the most vile thing i've ever seen if one white person gets killed because of this all these people need to be jailed for life i don't think that's going to happen uh, these kind of people live in every epoch and sometimes they triumph like in the 30s and early 40s of the last century in cambodia in the 70s and 80s or rwanda in the 90s but these days they are mostly powerless with one exception hollywood the epicenter of division well said you wow that's why i've got the channel where it is at the moment hollywood is going to be the cause of everything that goes wrong like i said tin foiled hatted executives walking around the little spark between just getting that brain into complete meltdown and this is what they give us so folks if you enjoyed this quick video today do me a big favor slap that subscribe button hit the like button and if i were you check me on my next video.